Welcome to the Bears Park for this Mosquito football matchup featuring the St. Leonard Cougars and the Shattagy Raiders. Raiders 0-1 on the season, had a game yeah, last week which was wiped out courtesy of uh, some testing protocols. Raiders a 27-0 loss in week one against the Lakeshore. Lakeshore. Can't think of the name off the top of my head right now, and I'm sorry for that. I was going to say Cougars, but I think that's actually the baseball teams. This is the St. Leonard Cougars wearing blue with orange and white trim playing from our left to right. The Raiders in this first quarter, silver and black playing right to left. Cougars getting set to kick it off. And here we go, this game underway at LaBear's Park. Fielded by the Raiders, and there's a little bit of some troubles. They're going to roll it down by contact, and the Raiders are going to start this drive on their own 35. Raiders, first down, players in. First down for the Raiders. That actually, that's going to be at about the 37, 38. Let's see how the Raiders get things going this season. Shadigate yet to score a point this season, hoping to turn that frown upside down. And this the 60th anniversary of Raiders football. Last night, Shadigate, uh, the Bantam team, a very difficult 27-23 loss against LaSalle. Raiders had a 23-20 lead in that game with under 100 seconds remaining before the Warriors ended up scoring a touchdown. And then the Raiders drove it to about the LaSalle 30, but just couldn't get it going. Remember, they needed full, they needed a full touchdown in that particular occasion. As there you see the Raiders lining up. And a quick timeout called by LaSalle, uh, by, sorry, by the Cougars, uh, St. Leonard. Raiders lining up with uh, Hector Beauregard, it looks like, under center. Running back, Avon Azimard, number 15 for the Raiders. Again, uh, four 12 minute quarters here at the Mosquito level. And eventually, at the older ages, that will turn into four 15s. So just joining us, St. Leonard in blue with orange, white trim. They're playing our, from our left to right here to start this game. And the Raiders. In silver and black, playing right to left. Ball is on the St. Leonard 42. Oh, sorry. That's, yeah, that's about the 38, so I was right the first time. Azamard lines up in the backfield. And here we go. First offensive set of this game. And there's a handoff and a pickup of maybe five yards, which will make it second and five for the Raiders at about the 44. Derek Gibson, Derek Gibson, the quarterback for the Raiders, lining up under center. Now the Raiders making a quick change. Someone's coming out. Looks like Fleury Paquet is coming out. So we'll see what Gibson and company could do here. Second down and five. Shattagate trying to flex some muscle here on the first offensive sequence of the game. Remember the Raiders not scoring a point in their first week. 27 nothing lost to Lakeshore. And there's an inside handoff and they're gonna get the first down and a little bit of more. And a great second effort on that run by Azimard, and that'll bring it right up to about midfield. It's going to be first down, fresh set of downs to the Raiders. And it's once again that inside handoff. They're not just dropping back into the backfield to hand it off. As soon as the play is completed, the Raiders are getting some good effort here. And they take it onto the St. Leonard side of the field. Ball at the Cougars, 54. So here we go. See the Raiders can keep the uh, running train growing here. Gibson runs back, rolling to his right. Gibson circles, Gibson throws it out, and it is incomplete, and that'll just be deflected off with some fingertips and roll out of bounds. Second down coming up for the Raiders. Ten minutes and one second to go here in the first quarter of a scoreless game. That was Gibson's first throwing attempt. He's 0 for 1 passing, and now the Raiders looking to 
come back here and pick up the 10 yards necessary for a first down. With the ball at midfield, I'm assuming that the Raiders are not going to worry about turning the ball over on downs here, so I would imagine they're going to go for all three. Let's see if the Raiders can get their second first down. Gibson lines up here. Raiders in an I formation, two back in the backfield. Got a running back and a fullback. And the inside handoff, the ball squirts free. It was play action. And it looks like the ball, the Raiders were able to inter pick it up, but not after a loss of five yards. So now it's third and 15 from the 51. Well, they tried a play action pass and Noah Plant looked like he was gonna be the intended uh, running back here. Remember you said the Raiders lining up with two in the backfield. They faked the handoff and then threw it out. Third down, it's a handoff play. And a nice pick up there by number 15, who's uh, Azimard. And that'll make it fourth down and seven. Raiders need seven yards to keep this play going. No score with 8.30 to go in the first quarter. Very calm breeze here today too. Yesterday things were a little breezy when the Tyke Raiders won their game. Tyke Silver. Fourth down and seven. Raiders fans trying to get into it here at LaBears Park. Gibson rolls out to his left. Gibson takes off. Gibson has some daylight. Gibson moving in. Gibson's got the first down. Gibson's on his horse. Gibson's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Raiders! Gibson, the quarterback, takes it himself 56 yards to the house, and it's 6 0 Raiders. Noah Gibson, a 56-yard QB scrambled to put his team up by six. And there we go, the first points for the Raiders here in the 2021 season. It was a re really like a defensive struggle against Lakeshore last uh, two weeks ago. Here's the kick, and that's going to split the uprights. Channing Young kicks the extra point through, and it's 7-0, Shadigay leader. So the Raiders defense now gets their first uh, chance to try and hold the fort. Shattuck defense was actually quite solid in that game two weeks ago against Lakeshore. Just couldn't keep the offense on the field long enough. So 7 nothing Raiders leading the game before us here. The Adam Raiders won by a score of 19 to nothing, I believe, against St. Leonard. This is the second head to head matchup here at the Bears Park. And again, last year, this 59th season of Raiders football cut short after five weeks. Really hoping that that is not the case this season. And there's the kick retrieved by the Cougars, and they will get up to about the 52-yard line, and that's where this drive is going to start for St. Leonard. Raiders lined up defensively with uh, number 93, Ethan Petuli, along the line. They also have Ryan Astorhe Norton, number 94. Meanwhile, on the outside, the ends, it looks like Aiden Walker, for number 47. Lining up on the left side, going up against this uh, St. Leonard offensive line. We'll see what the Cougars can do on first and ten. 
Eight nothing Raiders leading the Cougars. And there's a handoff, and St. Leonard has some open space on that right side. Good block. And ball stripped out. Or at least I thought it would be. Good run. And the Cougars get the ball up past the Shattagee 35. It's going to be first and 10 at the Raiders 34. Yards are game. Cougars first down. Play us in. That's exactly what you wanted if you're the St. Leonard Cougars offensively. You give up a you give up a touchdown on the first sequence, and then your very first run of the game. Take the ball 26 yards inside the Shattagee 35, and you have yourselves a good start on this drive. Now there's a handoff to the left side of the field, and some more daylight open. Young trying to get back. And he can't get it, it's a touchdown, St. Leonard. Two plays, 58 yards, and we've got a dog fight taking place here at LaBears Park. Wow. And for St. Leonard, that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Your defense got got their hearts broken basically on fourth and seven with a 58 yard or 56 quarter yard quarterback run courtesy of the QB Derek Gibson and then you come back on two plays you pick up 58 yards and now we are a two point kick away from tying this game up here it's eight six Shadigay on top Six twenty-eight to go in the first quarter, which has seen plenty of offense already. Cougars looking to tie it up here. And they're going to go for the two-point conversion. And it does not work. And the play is no good. Mason Mallon with the tackle in the backfield, and the two-point convert fails for the Cougars. Still 8-6, Shattagay on top. 6.28 to go in the first quarter. Don't forget, Baseball Provincials will be on BBM next week. Next Friday at 1.30, the Bantam Warhawks will play against the champions from Lano Thierre in game one of her doubleheader. And then next Friday at 5.30, the U13 B Warhawks playing hosts to the hosts. We're actually taking on the champions from Utue. That's the Durdiv Giants. First pitch there, 5.30 in Varen. First pitch at 1.30 at Park Pier Laporte. Uh, for the Bantams, the Midgets play at 3.30, so right in between. A game we will not be able to do because of the drive between uh, Longueuil and Varen. 8-6 Raiders. Two very quick touchdowns. Two touchdowns in three plays have put us here. There's a kickoff. Achieved by Gibson. Gibson with some space on the open side. Gibson. Gibson up to midfield and gets taken out of bounds. Nice recovery by uh, Derek Gibson to get the ball up to where, right around where the Cougars started their last drive. This is where the Raiders will start from their own 52. Raiders after looking real good on their first sequence of the game offensively looking to come back led by an offensive line uh, Ryder McCumber Franco Lanos and it looks like Lanos taking the snaps at center under center is Gibson who just ran for that 56 yard run 
on the Raiders' last play from offense. Now a throw out to the wide open, or the wide, to the open man, but that lane got shut down. The intended receiver was Logan Gonzalez, number 50. It's second down and 10. Donna Meyer Gibson here taking a shot. Gonzalez had one on one coverage with a cornerback on the outside. Gotta admire it, even though the pass came up short. Going after the places with the least amount of players in blue. <coughs> Second down to 10. Gibson. Getting ready to retrieve the ball from Lanos at center. Gibson hands it off on the outside. And this is gonna be very close to a first down. Andrew Patterson, number 22, takes the handoff and goes about nine yards to make it third and one. Third and inches. Third and inches. Sorry, I believe that's Azamard wearing number 15. Hi. Azamard wearing 22, Patterson's wearing 15, so that's the two-headed running back monster duel for the Raiders. 8-6, third down and inches. Flag down, and I think this might be against St. Leonard because they let the play go. Oh, too many men on the Raiders, and that's going to back them up to third and five. That's our first penalty of the game. Comes with four minutes to go in the first quarter. Raiders on top, 8-6. What? Oh, now they're calling it's an off. They're calling it an offside, but against the Cougars. Oh, no penalty. But how did we just go to third and short from third and short to first down? <laughs> One of the St. Leonard fans and I having a little playful discussion as to how that happened. It was third and short and then suddenly a penalty was called. That penalty rescinded but now it's a first down. Shattagay won't complain with the results though as the Raiders now have the ball inside St. Leonard territory at the 47. Gibson the handoff. Ball scores free. Pick back up and the tackle will be made in the backfield. As Azamar gets hit, and this is going to be a loss of about four, it'll be second and 14. These little option passes to the outside for the Raiders is what's not working right now. What, handed, what worked for the Raiders was those inside handoffs going after the linebackers going at the linebackers, going at the safeties. Those handoffs are working right now, but those option passes just aren't doing it. Gibson, with plenty of time. Gibson throws it, and it's incomplete. He had a man open at about the 45. Gonzalez is the intended target, and it'll be third and 14. the 50-yard line. 
third and about 14. As the Cougars fans try to pick up the volume here. Gibson rolling to his left. Gibson's gonna take off here. Gibson with some room. Gibson to the outside. Gibson stays on his feet. Hit out of bounds when he has enough for the first down. Good run, good run. Derek Gibson gets to about the 33. That is the second time in third or, or fourth and long situations where Derek Gibson has come up with a huge run. Number one, calling his own number and getting the first down. So that's a 17-yard pickup for Gibson, and it's a first and 10 now for the Raiders as we get into the last two minutes of the first quarter. Might not have had the best game throwing the ball thus far, but his legs have certainly made up for it. Neither team has completed a pass up to this point. There's a handoff as the mark gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage. And once again, the Raiders losing yards on the first play of downs. And this is a three yard loss. It'll be second and 13. Second and 14, a loss of four for Azamard. As we are getting now into the final minute of play of this first quarter. Gibson, Gibson being pursued, Gibson, and he is taken down, the ball comes out, and the Cougars got it, the ball stays inbounds, and St. Leonard picks it up. So a turnover by Shattigue and St. Leonard comes back. Thirty-four point five seconds to go in the first quarter. St. Leonard with the game's first big defensive play. And the Raiders defense goes back to work and they're gonna want a better result than the last play where they gave up fifty-six yards in two plays. All right, fifty-eight yards in two plays. See what the Raiders playmakers can do here. Down to the last 10 seconds of the first quarter. Hand off to the running back. In the backfield, Young trying to get him and there's the tackle. Ethan Petuli gets in there for his first tackle of the day. And that is a pickup of about one. Good play by 93, kind of busting through the Cougars' offensive line and getting to the halfback before he can cut to the outside. And that's been the name of the game for St. Leonard. Get to the outside with those big running backs. But one of the Raiders' defensive linemen right there, Ethan Petuli, 93, getting in on the tackle. Final play of the first quarter, unless there's a penalty coming up right now. And there's a handoff again to the outside, Young. And they combine to make the tackle. And it's going to leave about third and five for the Cougars coming up. That's a pickup of four. Channing Young made the first play, and then a couple of other Raiders surrounded the Cougars running back. And that should be it for quarter number one. That is it. First quarter. First quarter, and our Raiders have the lead. It's 8 to 6. Chattagay leading St. Leonard. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to LaBear's Park in Chattagay. Second quarter about set to get underway, where the Raiders have an 8 6 lead over the St. Leonard Cougars.
Raiders lining up defensively here. Five back. And we got a whistle, and this is probably going to be a false start on St. Leonard. That's a false start offense, five yard penalty, and they're going to replay it now. And this will put the Cougars pretty much back at the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and ten for the Cougars. There we go, our first penalty against St. Leonard. No penalties yet on the Raiders. There was a flag thrown in the first quarter, but that penalty was later rescinded. So now a big third down situation. The Cougars defense just made a big stop. The Raiders defense trying to do the same. And the quarterback calls his own number. Take him out, e. A flag down. And there might be a block in the back call coming up against St. Leonard. This was a pickup of about three or four. Petuli made the tackle, and now the results of the flag will be discussed. Okay, so there's three flag. There's two, three flags on the play. One against the Raiders. Two against the Cougars. One for a false start, and then we've got. Uh, personal fouls for roughing on both. And that'll back him up an extra 15 yards. And I believe that'll just take off the down though, so it'll be third and 25. Oh, they're going to call it as the down. All right, so it's going to be fourth and very, very long. Fourth and 30 for St. Leonard. Ball on their own 22 yard line. They need to get to their own 50, they need to get to their 52 to keep this play going. Fourth and 30. And one of the Raiders are getting back to their vertical base now. Nicholas King, 34, the, the linebacker, moving back to the sidelines now. So St. Leonard needs to convert here. It's fourth down and 30. A couple of penalties have pushed the Cougars back. Back to back penalties against St. Leonard. A false start followed by a delay of game and a roughing penalty. And the Cougars are going to run it on fourth down. This does not look like a terrible option. It looks like it's the best option. Three Raiders in pursuit, and they're not going to get it. St. Leonard pulls out an incredible 83-yard run, and St. Leo has the lead. Wow. Touchdown for the Cougars, number 21, Ludovic Pashis. Ludovic Pashis, number 21, takes it 82 yards. From fourth and 30 to a touchdown in one play. Ludovic Cassius goes 82 yards and gives St. Leonard a 12-8 lead. Flag down! Patuli makes the tackle. Delay of game offense, there are too many men, but Raiders, I believe, are going to obviously decline this. So it's 12-8 now in favor of St. Leonard, but the Raiders 
preventing those extra points from going up on the board. Well, the Raiders have had some success offensively moving the ball, too. They just haven't been able to finish, uh, at least not on the last play. Their last drive ended due to a, a turnover, a fumble recovered by St. Leonard. Passing the balls today, Gibson 0 for 3, and the Cougars as a team 0 for 1. As you would expect here at the, the Mosquito level, I mean, running routes and whatnot, are, are st those skills are still developing. 60th season of Raiders football. LaSalle Warriors 27-23 win here over the Bantam team last night. The Adam Raiders just beat St. Leonard 19 to nothing, and right now it's the Mosquito Raiders trailing 12-8 to St. Leo. Pee Wees are next. Pee Wee Raiders against St. Leonard as the Cougars have temporarily made refuge here and sought refuge and found it here at Park uh, La Bears. So the Cougars will kick it off and the Raiders will get their third possession of the game. Ball touched and Malin picks it up. Malin. Malin gets to about midfield and that's where the Raiders will start this possession from at the St. Leonard, or at the 55, just the plain old 55. Raiders first down, players in. Well, the Raiders have to get Raiders have to get better results on first down here. They've lost yards on first down each of their previous three attempts. So you know that's what they're thinking. And they even went back to the inside handoffs which resulted in a four yard loss. There we go. 10.35 to go in the second quarter. 12-8, Cougars leading. Gibson. And I believe the Raiders are going to be forced to take a timeout. Timeout, call the Cougars. Oh, nope, St. Leonard took it, okay. Timeout, Cougars, 12-8, 10.27 to go in the second quarter. Welcome back to La Paris Park. So St. Leonard has used both their timeouts here in this first half. And here come the Raiders with Gibson under center. Gibson hands it off. Azamard gets to the outside. Azamard with some feet. Azamard with some running room. Azamard going all the way. And he will score. Andrew Patterson takes it 55 yards and the Raiders retake the lead. That's all it took was one play on offense for the Raiders to get those points back. It's now 14-12. Andrew Patterson goes 55 yards on the first play of this series. And it looks like we're definitely in for a shootout here at LaBear's Park. Either than one fumble, neither offense has been stopped up to this point. And that's a great way for the Raiders to answer back. Remember, the Cougars were down to fourth and 30 when they scored that touchdown. And the Raiders, one play after that, come right back and retake the lead. And now we've got, and now we've got a timeout call by the Raiders. 14-12, Shadigay on top. So the Raiders just retook the lead. Anderson on a run. And look at Gibson. He'll take it in for two. Derek Gibson now has eight points on his own. And the Raiders take a 16 to 12 lead over St. Leonard in what promises to be a fairly high scoring game.
Gibson takes it to the house with the extra point. They opted not to go for the kick. They went for the kick after the first touchdown, resulting in the two points. But Gibson just goes the two yards, resulting in the one point and putting the Raiders up 15 to 12. Channing Young was kicking the ball. He's got a he's got a good strong leg, but the Raiders decide let's go with uh, let's go for the sure thing and. When you look at it, Gibson has pretty much been a sure thing running the football. So Patuli's going to kick it off here for the Raiders. Oh, and they're going to try to squib it. They squib it, and the ball gets to about the 52. Did not go 10 yards anyway in the Cougars. Are they going to read kick it? Yeah. Cougars, first down, put it the First down, Cougars from the Shadigui 52 yard line. Cassius, number 21, the key guy to watch here for St. Leonard, he just took it 82 yards to the house, which put St. Leonard on top for all of one offensive play. Where the Raiders came back. You see Shadigate defensively lining up. Aiden Walker on the end. As well as 32, Zach Gauthier, who's in the middle. And Gauthier now shifting to his left. He'll be on the outside. Edge rushing Cougars. And Young gets the sack. Danny Young breaks through the Cougars' offensive line and records the sack. And it is now second and 15 for St. Leo. Noah Plant up front as well. As is Ryan Astor, hey Norton, number 94. There's a handoff, and this is the play that's been working for the Cougars. Flag down, and they just cannot slow this man down. Patuli pushes him out of bounds, but there's a flag on the play back at the 45. Holding the call against St. Leonard, there was a Raider down in the backfield. And that is the fourth penalty against the Cougars, and it's cost them 35 yards up to this point. Four penalties, 35 yards, St. Leonard, zero and zero for the Raiders so far. So it's a holding call, which will now make it second and 25 for the Cougars. <laughs> They're not even gonna say how many yards that is, but it's second and long. 8.55 to go here in the second quarter. Raiders 15, Cougars 12. A lot of points have been put up up to this point. Channing Young made the sack and now a 10 yard holding call puts the Cougars back at their own 42 yard line. Remember they started this ball on the Raiders 52. Zach Fleury Paquin playing as the safety. And meanwhile, on the corners, you have Jonah Brown, 16. And Noah Turbide, who's also a corner. And the Raiders have just called their second timeout of this first half. 
Well, the game had a fast and fluid pace to start the first quarter, and since then there have been penalties and touchdowns. And in the first two minutes of the second quarter, we've had two touchdowns and two penalties called alone. And now we're at the, uh, the three-minute mark, and the game has not picked up in terms of speed ever since. I guess what I, by I mean fast and fluid is that the game clock goes fast. 15-12 Shattagy Raiders leading. Coming up next here at LaBears Park, the Pee Wee Raiders playing against St. Leonard. The Adams just won 19 to nothing, I think it was, or 20 to nothing they beat St. Leonard's Adam team. Fifteen twelve Raiders leading as the Cougars set. Second down and twenty five. And here's the handoff. Good block and some open space and a good tackle made by Mason Mallon, number four. But an 18-yard pickup for the Cougars, and now it's third and seven. Big pickup for St. Leonard. Now they have two plays to get seven yards. It'll be third and seven. Got to give a lot of credit to St. Leonard. Despite the penalties, they have been able to keep pace in this game. Cougars have been penalized four times for 35 yard, for 40 yards. Sorry, zero and zero for the Raiders so far. Quarterback's going to take off. Patuli says no. And oh, a flag down against St. Leonard, I think. This, this was a late flag thrown, and one of the Raiders were down. Flags came in late after the play had already been blown dead. And this is going to back St. Leonard back quite a bit more. Procedure call against St. Leonard. And then a personal foul against the Cougars for a late hit, which will put things back to the St. Leonard 37. And a loss of down, it looks like. So now it is... Boy, you're looking at fourth and about 40. Well, fourth and 30. Once again, St. Leonard facing fourth down and 30. And they're going to give it to their big guy, Young, Patuli, and Walker there to make the tackle in the backfield. And the Raiders force a turnover on downs. I'll tell you what though, if you are the St. Leonard Cougars and your coaching staff, you have to ask your guys, why are we taking all these penalties? St. Leonard, the penalty tally, six penalties for 60 yards. As we get to the seven minute mark of just the second quarter. And we'll see what the Raiders can do here. Gonzalez lines out offensively, along with Hector Beauregard, number 33. Gibson under center. He's got Patterson, but he's going to hand it off. 
to Azamard who gets inside and maybe picks up two yards. Well, it looks like it's a pickup of three. So it'll be second and seven for the Raiders. And we have a St. Leonard player down. And there is an injury on the play with 6.34 to go left in the second quarter. Well, the injured Cougar went back to the sideline on his own power, and that's good to see. 6.30 to go. Raiders driving in St. Leonard territory. It's second down and eight, and second down at seven. Gibson. Gibson rolls out to his right. Gibson, be pursued. Gibson's going to throw it over the head of the intended target, Gonzalez. And it'll be third and seven now for the Raiders. Just over the head of Gonzalez. Six fifteen remaining here in the second quarter. Fifteen twelve Raiders on top. As the Raiders come back here. That's the halfway mark of the second quarter. Cougars crowd coming back to life over there on the sidelines. The chance of defense. There's a handoff, Patterson. Patterson with some space on the left hand side. Patterson gets cut off before he can make the complete break to the outside. And this will be short of a first down. It's gonna be fourth and about four. It's fourth and three. Boy, if the Cougars can make this stop defensively, it would be huge following that last offensive possession. <sighs> 15, 12 Raiders leading. As we get to the five minute mark of this second quarter. This could be a really crucial sequence here for the Raiders. Gibson, Gibson stays on his feet. Gibson being pushed across. And it does not look like he got enough. And it is first down for... Oh, and they're gonna have to bring out the sticks here. Time to measure it out. It looks like it's gonna be just short right now. So the officials heading over there, 4.19 to go. Again, if this is a first down, we keep going. If this is short, then the Cougars will get the ball on a turnover on downs. So they're bringing it out. Now they have to actually bring it out to see if the ball will be on the other side. It is. It is. First down, first down. Boy, just by the hair of the chinny chin chin though, the Raiders are able to get a first down, but boy, that was close. Four nineteen to go in the second quarter. Raiders on top 15-12, and this offensive play drive will continue for the Chattagate. Seventh play of this drive coming up for the Raiders. Gibson, 
Handed it off inside. And the first run of the day for Aiden Davis, the fullback, and he gets about two yards. And it's second and eight. Oh, he got three. It's second and seven. So Davis with a three yard carry. 3.47 to go here in the second quarter. Raiders leading this one 15 to 12. Second and seven from the St. Leonard 25. Gibson rolls out to his right. Gibson airs it out and it is dropped. Oh. oh. They're going to replay it here on third down. Just about every single person in the stands, including yours truly, thought that would be a catch and at minimum a first down. Instead, it's just a long down wasted. It's now third and seven for the Raiders. This is where Derek Gibson's been clutch. Third and seven. Under three to go in the first half. It's a handoff. And Azamard picks up a few yards. Two at that, I think. And it's going to be fourth and five. And that is the three minute warning here from Shanagay. Raiders hoping to get a two score lead. It'll be fourth and five after the two yard gain by Azamard. Fifteen twelve Shadigay leads. Two thirty seven and counting left in this first half. So here we go. This is where Gibson's been money. St. Leonard's come up with a couple of big stops though. They're gonna need one here in the end of this first half. Gibson, Gibson, ran it to his lineman. Gibson rolls out. Gibson is taking off. Gibson forced out of bounds, short of the first down. And the Cougars force a turnover on downs. Second turnover of the day for the Raiders and the Cougars will start back at their own, I want to say 20 yard line. Well, they're going to get it at the 24. First and 10, St. Leonard with 2.02 to go. Raiders have a 15 to 12 lead. Fifteen twelve Shadigay leading. And now a hole on the right side. And a good tackle. Patuli and Turbide combining to make that tackle, and it'll be second down for the Cougars after a gain of seven. Turbide was kind of doing like one of those uh, little chicken fight wars with uh, the wideout who they knew was obviously this was going to be a running sequence. So rather than get open, he went out and just did a battle away from the ball carrier against Turbide. Turbide fought it off and then eventually got help from Patuli coming up from the defensive line to make it second and three. Here. There's a handoff. Kenjish gets outside. Kenjis has some room. Kenjis still on his feet. Kenjis going to the outside. Kenjis is going to go all the way. 
away. Ludovic Kenjis takes it to the house. Touchdown, St. Leonard. Ludovic Kenjis with a 76-yard run. And St. Leonard retakes the lead. It's 18-15. Boy, what a run by Ludovic Kajish to put St. Leonard back in the lead after their defense just came up with a huge stop. Broken up. Ethan Patuli makes the tackle behind the play. And that is his fifth tackle of the first half. Just seen uh, in NCAA. Against the, I know Nebraska was the opponent, but I think Louisiana, Lafayette, or Monroe. One gentleman had 31 tackles in the game, which broke the NCAA record. One minute, 10 to go here. Cougars with the lead. Eighteen to 15 lead for St. Leonard. This will begin the final offensive play, I believe, of the first half for the Shattagee Raiders. I say I believe because there have been so many points that have already come in here. And St. Leonard, despite being penalized for six penalties, 60 yards, they have taken the lead against the Raiders 18-15. There we go. Gibson and Ajamar back deep for the Raiders to receive this kickoff. And it'll go right to the way of Gibson. Picks it up. Breaks one tackle. But the numbers game pays advantage for St. Leonard. And the Raiders will start this drive from about their 32. First attempt from the Shattagay 31. As we are now at one minute, two seconds to go in the first half. St. Leonard on top now, 18 to 15. As the Cougars crowd starts getting into it here, the chance of defense. Flag down, and Patterson. Patterson gingerly makes his way onto the outside. Patterson still up there. Patterson still going. Patterson, a big game. And another flag down. There are two flags on the play right now. A late one was just thrown in after the tackle. So two flags on the play. This temporarily is a 35-yard run. As we get to 48.4 seconds to go. And it's against the Cougars. And will this... And roughing against the Cougars. Wow. Roughing against St. Leonard. So this was at the 45, and this is... 
I think, going to go an extra 15 yards for because of the fact that it's a personal foul. Too many man penalties declined. Roughly head tackle. Upheld. All right, so the... First down, let me have a sec. So the too many men penalty against the Cougars is declined, but the Raiders do accept the roughing penalty, and that is another 15 yards added to the end of that run. And folks, the St. Leonard Cougars have now committed seven penalties for 75 yards. Shattigan with momentum as they have the ball inside St. Leonard territory at the 30. Gibson throws it, and it's dropped. Ryder Moreau got found a seam, but was not able to haul it in, and it'll be second down and ten now for the Raiders. Forty-three point two seconds to go in the first half. St. Leonard leading this game by a score of 18 to 15. <laughs> Gibson's going to take it himself. Derek Gibson gets outside. Derek Gibson taken down. A good seven, eight yard pickup it looks like for him. It's going to be third down and about two. Third and one. Third and one. Okay, so a nine yard pickup by Gibson. 36.1 seconds to go. It's thrown and incomplete. And it'll now be fourth and one. Raiders have yet to complete a pass. Fourth and one. Can St. Leonard make a big stop here? Don't forget, they will receive the kickoff in the second half. And you know that the Raiders coach is. Chance of defense from the St. Leonard faithful. There's a throw, and it's incomplete. Gonzalez got a step behind the St. Leonard defense. And that is the third turnover for the Raiders in this first half. Two of them via the downs. And there's 24.3 seconds remaining in the first half. <laughs> so the Cougars will start this drive from their own 22 yard line after the turnover on downs and uh, delay of game call coming up against St. Leonard it looks like so add another penalty to the Cougars increasing totals the Raiders no penalties in this game the Cougars 8 for 80 but St. Leonard still has the lead they've been really resilient <laughs> the St. Leonard 10 yard line. First and 20 St. Leonard.
There's a handoff in the backfield. Oh, and one man just got juked. And they make the play with 12.7 left, but you see Jonah Brown on the outside who had an inside track, but just the size differential there resulting in a the running back for the Cougars running over the Raiders corner. And unless there is a penalty, this will be the final play of the first half. Second down and five from the St. Leonard 18. Sorry, from the St. Leonard 23. And they will take the knee, and that'll take us to the end of the first half. The St. Leonard Cougars 18, the Shadigan Raiders 15. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome you back to Park LaBear's getting set to begin the second half. Your Mosquito Football, Quebec Football League, Mosquito Football. Cougars leading this one by a score of 18 to 15 and St. Leonard will get the ball back here to start the second half. And here's the kick. Picked up by St. Leonard. And there's a tackle made by number 35, Aiden Davis. And that's the running, one of the running backs which have caused a lot of trouble for Shadagui today, just breaking numerous tackles. Hey, Brown was in the perfect position there, went low, made a good tackle and just couldn't completely get the man down. As we start the second half, Cougars 18, Raiders 15. Raiders defensively come out with Ryan Snorhey Norton, the nose tackle. Ethan Petuli, as well as Zach Gauthier. So three up on the line, and then a couple of Rushers on the outside, so the Raiders look like they're gonna send six here. And they're gonna to need to send more than that, it looks like. And the Raiders combine to make the tackle. Getting in there was Aiden Walker, 47. Brown coming in on the backfield as well to make the play out of the, uh, the safety the secondary to make the play, and it's now second down and eight. Good defensive sequence there for the Raiders. Ten forty-seven to go here in this third quarter. And we got a penalty coming up to St. Leonard, and there's a tackle in the backfield by Mason Mallon. And the big question I would have here is are the Raiders going to take accept this? Because it looked like it was a false start against St. Leonard. Unless it's an offside against the Raiders, and that's why they are allowed to keep the play going. 10.25 to go here. And it's an offside against the Raiders. And the Cougars will accept this and make it a second and three now. First penalty of the day against Chattagay. Cougars the dominant story there because they had eight penalties for 80 yards in that first half. One for five now are the Raiders. Second and three. 10 minutes, 10 seconds to go in the first half, uh, for third quarter. Shadigate leading this one, eight, uh, St. Leonard leading this one 18 to 15. 
Ball's on the other side of the field now. Cougars have driven into Shadagi territory. Here's a throw. Incomplete. Brown and Caleb Colom in the, the secondary for the Raiders on the coverage. It's going to be third and two. Third down and two for St. Leonard. And they're going to hand it off. Flag down. Possibly a holding call. Patuli makes the tackle. And it's a block in the back. Called on St. Leonard, and that is going to negate this first down run. And this is going to come quite a ways back. Looks like it's a 15 yard penalty. Uh, 10 yard penalty, all right. 10 yard penalty against St. Leonard, making it third and 13 now for the Cougars. Well, when St. Leonard has made the handoff, whether or not it's been to Cashish, it's been money for him. Nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Raiders on, on the defensive front here. And this is where the problem's gonna lie! What a tackle by Mason Allen! <laughs> and that's his fifth tackle of the afternoon. And now it's fourth down for St. Leonard. They need one more of those to get a good defensive stop to start this quarter. And the Raiders are going to make a change. Walker's going to come out. And Azamar comes in. And he's going to take his place on the line to rush at the edge. Fourth down. And about 18 to St. Leonard. And the Raiders crowd started to make some noise. And they're going to hand it off. There's a tackle again by Mason Mallon. And a late flag. A late flag just came in. After the play was blown dead. Seven fifty nine to go here. And it's on the Cougars. So the Raiders will get the ball at the St. Leonard thirty thirty seven. Raiders will have it at the St. Leonard 37. Well, what a huge defensive sequence for Shadigay. St. Leonard now up to 10 penalties and 105 yards. Raiders one penalty, five yards. But it's still St. Leonard in the lead right now. We'll see if the Raiders can turn that frown upside down. Lanos, the center. Gibson under center, under center. Gibson hands it off. Davis. Aiden Davis. And he's going to be tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Two-yard loss, and that'll make it second and 12. Now with the serious loss of three, so it's second and 13. Now with the St. Leonard 39.
The Cougars defense has come up large here. As we get under seven minutes remaining in quarter number three. St. Leonard Carl back into it. Gibson rolls to his right. Gibson throws it and no one home. Ryder McCumber, the right tackle, was tied up with one of the Cougars away from the play. And Gibson, the quarterback, is down for the Raiders here. It's going to be third and 13, Chattagay. And the Raiders faithful collectively holding their breath because their quarterback is down holding on to his left knee. Derek Gibson walked back to the sideline on his own power, but that means he will not be able to QB for at least this play. Let's go, Ryan! Oh, Raiders with a different player under center. Let's go, Raiders! And it looks like Azamart has now moved to QB, so that means that the, his halfback will now be Patterson. Ball squirts free! The Raiders recover it. Raiders, fourth down. Get the innocent. But it'll be fourth down. Under six minutes to go in the third quarter. Shadigate trailing 18 to 15. If you're just joining us, Derek Gibson just came out. The starting quarterback for the Raiders. Said the starting halfback now. Avon Azamard's move to QB, and Andrew Patterson, the second back, has been now moved to the featured back. Fourth down and 13 for the Raiders. Ball at the 41-yard line. Ball comes free, and the Raiders pick it up, but St. Leonard will get the recovery on downs. Turnover on Downs and St. Leonard will have possession. And hopefully for the Raiders, Gibson can come back on the next series. But two defensive stops here, one for the Raiders, one for the Cougars to start this third quarter. And the sun starting to fight through the clouds here at La Bears Park. Adam Raiders in 20 to nothing shutout win over St. Leonard earlier this morning. Pee Wee's coming up next. And it's the same two teams, Shadigay St. Leonard. St. Leonard starting on the Shadigay 40 on their own 47. Quarterback's gonna take off, but Cooley blocks him. And that's his eighth tackle of the day. It'll be second and seven after a three yard pickup. Four minutes and 10 seconds to go here. Patuli leading the way with eight tackles. Mason Mallon has seven for the Raiders. Second and nine. Ball comes free, and the Raiders got it! Ryan 
is Snorhe Norton recovers the fumble and the Raiders will go back to work on the offense. Second turnover of the day for the Cougars. And now it's the Raiders' turn to go to work on offense. 3.45 to go. And the Raiders will get the ball in good in good possession. Good position. They'll have it at the St. Leonard 44. Come on, boys. Let's see if they can do this here. Azamart under center, lost the ball! The Cougars can't get it! And the ball is recovered by all just Bray. So Bray picks it up. And Chattagay's offense is in all sorts of discombobulated here. They're gonna need a timeout to try and talk things over. Three minutes and 16 seconds left in the third quarter. The Raiders have used their first timeout of the second half. Well, if you're just joining us, the Raiders are trailing 18 to 15. Their quarterback, Derek Gibson, knocked out the last game or the last series and has not come back. So Azamart is in as their quarterback. It is second and 16. Azamart's gonna try to take off here, gets inside. Positive yardage gained, but it'll be third and maybe 12 now. Oh, third and 14. A two yard pickup. And a Cougar is down. That's number 65 for St. Leonard. Third and 14. There we go. Third down and 14 for the Raiders. Ever since Derek Gibson came out, it seems like the Raiders' offense has gone into a little bit of a funk. We'll see if they're able to break through here. Third and 14. Azamard now about four yards off the lines of scrimmage. Azamard going deep. Has a man open. Caught. It's caught. First down, Raiders. Mason Mallon makes the catch. First completed pass for either team tonight. And that is a 20 yard pickup and a first down for the Raiders. Well, I like the adjustments there by the Shadigay coaching staff because what's been going on is ever since he came under center, center Azamard's been lined up right behind. Uh, Franco's the center, but now he's lining up where he's like four or five yards behind the line of scrimmage. And now he's going to line back up. Raiders lining up in an eye. They got two backs. First and ten. Azamard is going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. It's a sack, and St. Leonard gets a big play there to make it now second and eleven. Second and 11 for the Raiders. Ball on the St. Leonard 26. Actually, it's a loss of two. Second and 12. Raiders coming out with Azamard as the QB. Channing Young has moved behind the line of scrimmage. And Davis back there as well. Quick slant throw. Intercepting! The Cougars get it! Patterson, the uh, intended target, and it's picked off by the Cougars in the secondary, and with 126 to go, St. Leonard forces a big turnover. Fifth turnover of the day for the Raiders. And now St. Leonard will go to work, starting from their own 14. Well, if there's any positives here, it's that the Raiders' def defense has looked really good in this second half. And now the Cougars are working with limited field position as they're only on their own 14.
Boy, this is so different from the first half. All 33 points were scored in that first half. There has not been a single point tally on either side. Norton, Petuli, Walker, and Zach Gauthier on the defensive uh, line. Raiders lining up with it looks like they're basically intending to rush seven or eight. And there's a tackle made by Noah Turbide, the corner. It's a six yard pickup though for the Cougars. It's now second and four. Under the final, into the final minute of play in the third quarter. Turbide in the secondary, Jor Brown on the other corner. And there you see he lined up way in the back. He's Turbide, he's actually moved from the corner to the safety position. <laughs> Under 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Raiders down by a score of 18-15. Second and four for St. Leonard. Ball drop, and the Raiders got it! Mason Bowen! Picks it up at the St. Leonard 17. That is the second straight turnover by St. Leonard, a second straight fumble. The defenses have really stepped it up here, but if this trend continues, you gotta like St. Leonard's chances, but Chattagui with the biggest offensive chance here in this second half, they'll take it from the St. Leonard's 17 yard line. And Gibson is back in. So Derek Gibson, the starting quarterback for the Raiders who was injured earlier in this quarter is now back in and this will be the final play of the third quarter unless there is of course a penalty 18 15 st leonard leading raiders in possession gibson under center and we have a timeout taken by st leonard this third quarter just doesn't want to end. And the Raiders will have possession at the St. Leonard is 17. First time out for the Cougars taken in the second half. Each team has taken one. Our third quarter, which has seen no points. But the big thing offensively is we have had a completed pass. Avon Azamard, who was originally the starting running back, had to come in and play QB for Gibson. And he completed a pass to Mason Mallon, number four, who has eight tackles and now a fumble recovery. He and Ryan Astorhe Norton have each recovered a fumble for the Raiders. So the defense has come to play in the second half for both sides. But it's the Raiders right now with the dominant field position. We'll see if they can finish this play off with a touchdown. First play of this drive and they're starting it from the St. Leonard 17. Gibson under center. Lost the ball! Cougars got it! At least I think they did. St. Leonard ball! Three turnovers in three minutes, two for the Raiders now and one for the Cougars. And we're gonna hold to the fourth quarter. Just exactly how we started the third quarter off. It's 18-15, no points scored either way. Cougars 18, Raiders 15 after three.
we go at LaBear's Park starting this fourth quarter off and we've got some whistles. It sounds like an offside. But is it an offside or is it a full start? It's an offside against the Raiders. And that'll make it first down and five. Raiders now two penalties for 10 yards. The Cougars 10 penalties for 105. But St. Leonard has overcome that to have the lead. And a tackle made in the backfield by Mallon for his ninth. Three yard pickup for the Cougars. Or sorry, two yard loss for the Cougars. It's now second and seven. Mason Mallon with nine tackles, a fumble recovery. And uh, the only catch, the only reception of the day either way. And we have an injury. One of the Cougars, I believe, is down. And that'll come with 43 seconds into this fourth quarter with the Raiders trailing 18 to 15. Second down and seven. Cougars in possession, and they have it at the Chattagay 24-yard line. Patuli up on that defensive end, all along the line with Norton. Aiden Walker out there as well. And Ryan Asnorhe Norton, the, deep, the nose tackle. There's a handoff to the outside, and a lot of room to go. There's a missed tackle, and the Cougars are going to take it all the way. Touchdown, St. Leonard. Touchdown, Cougars! And it is now 24 to 15, St. Leo. First points put up in the second half. And the Cougars now lead by nine. And that comes just a minute, 18 seconds into the fourth quarter. And with 10.42 to go, St. Leonard has the lead. It's 24-15. And the Raiders offense is gonna have to get some traction because since, and we got a penalty against St. Leonard, it looks like. Delay of game. And that'll back him up five yards. So the Cougars are now up to 11 penalties for 110 yards on the day. That's the old. That's not the only thing they're winning in, though. They're winning on the scoreboard. It's 24-15, St. Leonard leading with 10:42 to go. Cougars are going to go for the one. And they come up short. They're short. Chris, or sorry, Caleb Colo, number 20, makes the tackle his first of the day. And the Raiders keep the score at 24 to 15 with 10.42 to go here in quarter number four. And St. Leonard will kick off. Well, we have provincial championships of baseball coverage starting next Friday with a doubleheader. 1.30, the champions from Lanaudier will take on the Ganhawagi Warhawks in U15. 
And then the champions from the U13 division, the champions from Ottawa, which we now know is the Durev Giants, will take on the Warhawks. Both those games on the South Shore, one in Longueuil at Parc Pierre Laporte, and the other will be in Verden. And then, of course, everything will be determined upon positioning, upon wins, and only the first games are non elimination. So, as sa actions resume Saturday, you have to win to be a champion. Of course, the U18 Raider, uh, Warhawks in action as well. They will take on the host team from Longueuil. Twenty-four fifteen lead. There's the kickoff, and that squib did not go the required ten yards. Davis goes down to recover it. No Raider touched it, so the Raiders will start this drive off from the St. Leonard 53. A squib kick by the Cougars, which did not go the required 10 yards. Well, if the Raiders want to win this game, they are going to have to score on this drive. And the sun has faded, and since then, the temperatures become a little more comfortable, a little more like fall-like, even though I know, of course, summer does not end for another couple of weeks. Raiders trailing 24-15. Gibson under center. And the ball squirts free. Gibson recovers it. Gibson turns the corner. Gibson has some room to run. Derek Gibson gets the first down and more. Derek Gibson still going. Derek Gibson on his way to the house. Touchdown! Raiders! And it's 24 21. Derek Gibson, a 52 yard run. And the Raiders are back to within a field goal. Wow. So that means in the last two offensive offensive touches, there has been an 84-yard run and now a 52-yard run. And it's now 24-21, under 10 minutes to go here. And the Raiders get their first points of the second half. And Channing Young, who we've seen before, has kicked a two-point kick. Will come out here to try and make it 24-23. Or will the Raiders fake it and go for one like they did on their previous touchdown? Young kicks it. And it goes through. So the kick is good. It's a two-point kick for the Raiders, and it's now a one-point game, 24-23. 24-23, St. Leonard leading, and the Raiders will kick it off here. Ethan Petuli will kick it off. He's joined by Young, Malin, Azamar, and Noah Plunk on the right side. And there's the kickoff. It hits a leg. Ball's free. And the Cougars got it. Oh, ho, ho. What a perfect kick for the Raiders there. Malin was in hot pursuit, but the Cougars will scoop it up. And they will start this drive from their own 53-yard line. Cougars 24, Raiders 23, and if both teams score a touchdown here, this may come down to who kicks the points. Yeah. 
24-23, St. Leonard leading. 9.45 and counting remaining in this fourth quarter. Raiders in silver and black of Sadigate. Cougars in the blue with orange and white playing right to left here in this fourth quarter. We're in for a great finish here. And the Cougars get a big pick up here. Zach Gauthier with the tackle out of bounds, but we have a penalty against St. Leonard, and this is coming back. Illegal block called against the Cougars. This should be a 10 yard loss. Actually, it's 15. So it's going to be first and 25 for the Cougars. St. Leonard up to 12 penalties for 125 penalty yards. The Raiders, two for 10. And that might be what's keeping Shadagi in the game because the Cougars still lead this one despite the penalty trouble, 24-23. Nine minutes, 20 seconds remaining. One point lead for the Cougars. Opening kickoff of this game was at 11.30. First and 25. Patuli, Norton, Plants up front. Channing Young in the linebacking core. Mallon outside. First and 25, there's a handoff. And a tackle behind the line of scrimmage by Mason Mallon, that is his 10th tackle. It's his 10th tackle, and it'll be second and 26. And an injury on the play with 8.57 to go in the fourth quarter. Uh, Ludovic Hashis, who was the ball carrier on that play for St. Leonard, the injured Cougar, has gone back to the sideline. 26 yards needed for St. Leonard to get a first down. Sorry, 25. It was a no-gain situation, so second and 25 for St. Leonard. Under nine minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Cougars 24, Raiders 23. And Gibson has now moved to the defensive line. And Mallon and Gibson combined to make the tackle. It'll be third down after a gain of about seven. So it'll be third and 16. Oh, sorry, a nine yard gain on that play. <laughs> Third and 19, so it was indeed a six yard game. Raiders defense trying to make a big stop as we get under eight minutes to go in this fourth quarter. 24-23. Azamart up on the defensive front now. And Malin and Young combined to make the tackle, but there's a flag down in the backfield. And it's <laughs> it's an illegal procedure against St. Leonard. And a loss of down and a loss of five yards. Will put St. Leonard back at their own 40. Oh. 
So it is fourth and 23 right now for the Cougars. And what a huge stop this would be for the Raiders if they could get it. Fourth down and 23. There's the handoff, and this has been money for St. Leonard. Ballin can't get the tackle. One tackle dodge. And he's out of bounds. And the Raiders get the defensive stop. And Shadigy forces the turnover on downs. No. That was a pickup of seven, but Shadigay will take possession of the St. Leonard 47 yard line. Ooh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. St. Leonard 24, Shadigay 23. Under seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Raiders hoping to take the lead for the first time since the first quarter. 24-23, Cougars leading. There's a handoff. And they'll push him forward. And Azumar got about two. So it's second and eight for the Raiders. Ball on the ball on the St. Leonard 46. They got to get to the 37. So it's about second and eight. Second and maybe eight and a half. Derek Gibson, under center, has two rushing touchdowns today. 24-23. Lie down. Delay of game. Offense, five-yard penalty. And it'll now be second and 13 for the Raiders. Five minutes, 45 seconds to go. Shadigate trailing this one, 24-23. Second and 13. Both teams have, the name of the game has been Big Runs. Gibson fakes the handoff. Now airs it out. It's caught! Channing Young with the reception! Channing Young across the Cougars. 40 has the first down. Second completed pass of the day for the Raiders. The first one for Gibson. Channing Young with the reception. And it is a 19-yard catch, and first down and 10 for the Raiders on the St. Leonard 30. <sighs> wow. Now the way the run to the outside has been going for the Raiders, I thought that's what they would have gone to. Gibson, he's going to go to the outside here. Gets a block and has room to the outside. It's a hat trick for Derrick Gibson. Touchdown, Raiders. And Shadagi has the lead. Made the play with his arm just now to Channing Young. And on this position, makes the play with his legs. And the Raiders lead at 29-24 with under five minutes to go. And Channing Young's coming back out here to try and kick the Raiders into a full touchdown lead. 29-24. Looking to add the two-point conversion. Which is the kick. The kick is worth two points at this level and a run to the end zone would be one. Or a pass. 
Gibson and Young's kick is blocked. And the play is good. Well, 4.53 to go. You heard in the background, you got to hold them. 29-24 Raiders leading. And it's up to the Shadigui defense. Under five to go here at Park LaBerge. 29-24 Raiders leading with 4.53 to go. The Raiders have taken the lead. Ethan Petuli kicking off. Shadigui looking to get the one and one on the season. Well, a loss would drop the Cougars to one and two. Patuli kicks off. The ball touched by the Cougars, and they'll pick it up. And a flag down as the Cougars get the ball to about the 50. And it's on the Cougars, holding St. Leonard. That is going to be a 10-yard penalty. And the penalty story is ugly right now for the team in blue. 13 penalties for 100 and now 35 yards. The Raiders, three penalties for 15. Cougars shooting themselves in the foot here with these penalties. And St. Leonard will start on their own 35. Plant. Norton. Looks like uh, number 23 joining the Raiders there, Noah Plant. With uh, Zach Gauthier and Ethan Batuli on the line. Channing Young. Out there as well in the linebacking core along with Mason Mallon. And St. Leonard's call for time with 4 minutes 23 seconds to go. Raiders 29, Cougars 24. We're going to have a thriller coming down the stretch here at Park LaBerge. 29-24 Raiders on top, 4.23 to go. This Mosquito football matchup. Raiders losing their first game 27-0 against Lakeshore. And would have come back here to take a 29-24 lead against the Cougars. There's a handoff and some room to run on the outside. And this will be stopped short of a first down. It's going to be second and maybe two. And a flag thrown. After the play was already blown down. And it's against St. Leonard. Unsportsmanlike conduct for spiking the ball afterwards. Which is uh, 15 yards. So instead of second and maybe three, it's going to be second and 18 for the Cougars. Yeah, I said, I was saying to myself, what the hell do you want? <laughs> How are you doing? Some room on the outside. Oh, and plenty of room. First down. Patuli makes the tackle, but St. Leonard has picked up the first down after a 20-yard pickup. St. Leonard, by the way, coming into this season, this game, one win, zero losses, one tie. They tied Greenfield Park 37-37 and beat St. Laurent last week 31-6 while the Raiders, of course, had their game postponed against St. Lazar. 29-24, Raiders on top with 3 minutes 20 seconds to go. Plant up front with Norton and Batuli. Young coming off the edge. Come on, watch him on the side. And they make the tackle. Yeah. 
Patuli combining with Noah Goodhue on the tackle, and we are under three minutes to go. Three-minute warning. Three warning. Shanagy Raiders 29, St. Leonard Cougars 24. Cougars facing a second and six after the four-yard pickup. Pee Wee Raiders and Cougars coming up next. That game was supposed to start at 1.30. Unbelievable how long this game has lasted. It's 1.51 local time. There's a handoff and some room to run on the outside. And they make the tackle. Coming up from the secondary to make the stop was number 47, Aiden Walker, who's moved from the line to the secondary. And he's got his third tackle of the game. And it's now third down and four. Under two minutes and 35 seconds remaining here at LaBears Park. Raiders 29, Cougars 24. St. Leonard sets up. They've got three wide. Three receivers wide for the Cougars. Flag down, Raiders jump the line, I think. Unless it's a false start against the Cougars. Oh. And the Raiders jump the line and the Cougars get a first down. Someone on the defensive line jumped it. And the Cougars will now have a first down from the Shadigay 50. Two minutes and 13 seconds remaining. Get the ball, E! Raiders 29, Cougars 24. You can hear chants of defense. Ball comes free! And the Cougars recover it. That'll be a loss of one. And it'll be second down and 11. Two minutes and five seconds and counting remaining here at Park Bears. Raiders 29, Cougars 24. Plant lined up with Norton the nose tackle. Young on the edge as is Ethan Petuli, number 93. And they're sending the linebackers. And that's going to be a sack. Yeah. Recorded by Avon Azamar. Number 15 gets to the backfield. And that is the fifth sack recorded by the Raiders today. And we are now at 100 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Here we go. Third down and 13 for the Cougars. There's a the handoff. They fake the handoff. They're going to throw it. Incomplete. And this game is going to come down to one play. Fourth down for St. Leonard. That is just the fourth on, passing on, attempt by the Cougars. Raiders are 2 and 9 throwing the ball. St. Leonard 0 of 4. And here we go with a most critical fourth down conversion attempt of the game. This is for it. This is for the game pretty much. 29 24 Raiders. And they're going to hand it off. He got it! First down, St. Leonard, but some flags thrown late. Uh-oh. Horse collar tackle on the Raiders. 
So this means this will be another 15 yards from the end of the run, which will put it at the Shanagi 21. Oh my. First and 10 from the Shadagi 20. And we have one minute, four seconds remaining. This is it right here, folks. This is the game. Here we go. They hand it off. Same big play running back. He gets outside. He has room to run. He scores! Touchdown, St. Leonard! And the Cougars take the lead with 53.4 seconds to go. So now it'll be up to the Raiders offense to try and win the game. And the Cougars have the 30 to 29 lead. We are under one minute to go and the Cougars have just punched through and taken the lead against the Shadigee Raiders. Kick is up. It's blocked! Yeah. 53.4 to go, St. Leonard 30, Shadagi 29. One minute, under one minute to go, and this is gonna be it, folks. It's gonna come down to this possession. See a Pee Wee Raiders coming out here. They were supposed to play at 130. And right now it's 158, so obviously that didn't happen. St. Leonard trying to stay unbeaten on the season. Cougars 30, Raiders 29. St. Leonard will kick things off from their own 45 yard line. Touchdown for Cougars! Kanye Cherstall! Kanye with, Cherstall with the touchdown run, his second of the game. Four rushing touchdowns for St. Leonard today. Five rushing touchdowns, sorry, five. That's Cherstall's third touchdown run. Cherisol with three rushing touchdowns. And Ludovic Hashish, number, tw Hashish, number 21, has two rushing touchdowns. And there's a kick off a of Raider hand, recovered by Shadigay. And great awareness by Nathan Nebrest to pick up that loose ball. 49. Point one seconds left, 55 yards separating the Raiders from their first win of the year. The Cougars defense needs to hold it. If they do, St. Leonard's still unbeaten. First game this year was a 37-37 Cougars tie. That was with Greenfield Park, 30 to 29. Cougars leading. Here we go. It comes down to this. 49.1 to go. First and 10 Raiders at the mid at midfield. There's a hand up. Patterson has room to run. Andrew Patterson. Patterson. He slowed up and he will be taken down. Plays blown down with 37.1 left. He's going to be close to the first down marker. <laughs> Second and one. Pick up on nine. Ball 
the St. Leonard 46. Both teams have one timeout left. Thirty twenty nine. St. Leonard leading. Second and one. Gibson rolls outside. Derek Gibson trying to take off. Derek Gibson has room to run. Derek Gibson turns the corner. Derek Gibson take it down. And Gibson makes it to the 24. And there is 10.9 seconds left. And I can imagine that means about two plays left for the Raiders here in this game. Well, six seconds left. Clock is ticking. This is it. This is the final play of the game unless there's a penalty. Raiders need 24 yards. Gibson's going to take it himself. Gibson. Gets turns the corner. Gibson running. Gibson, take it down, and St. Leonard wins! The St. Leonard Cougars have won this incredible mosquito football matchup by a final score of 30 to 29, the slimmest of margins. And the Raiders were about 10 yards short from winning their first game of the year. Your final score, St. Leonard Cougars 30, Shattagee Raiders 29, the Cougars improve to 2-0-1, while the Raiders fall to 0-2. I'm Brandon Border for Baby Blue Memories. And of course, today's MVP, a lot of candidates, you could have given it to the man that had a, foot, a touchdown run for the Raiders, who of course was Azamard, you could have given it to Mason Mallon, who had 11 tackles and a fumble recovery. Ethan Petuli with 12 tackles. But Derek Gibson has to be given the game's MVP tonight. Three touchdown runs and 10 yards away from what would have been a fourth touchdown run. Your final score, Cougars 30, Raiders 29. I'm Brian Bordo for Baby Blue Memories from Park LaBear's in Chattagee. Chattagee, what?